All right. Thought about this a little bit more. Um, Going to do a little bit more abstraction, a little bit more sort of a clean up around here. Um, and then I'm going to head to bed. Uh, I don't... I don't think that there is a great way to get rid of the state up here. Because what, what this ultimately is doing is it's parsing out a page. And that's a separate operation from parsing out a comment. This is, this is parsing out all of the... It's building a graph from a page. Um, so I don't think that there is a way to basically just say, like, hey, stick all of this inside of a, a function and say that it doesn't matter. That's not to say that there aren't things that you can do, though. Um, I can still jump into here, and I like I can still start adding some stuff in here. So utils.type is a thing. I also want to make a... Uh, there are a couple of these that I was looking at. What, what was I looking at? Splitting the source string, extracting the ID. Okay, yeah. So this is more node operations, which is basically to say like, oh no, this is line types, right? Sure, why, why the heck not? We can basically get the type from this, which loops over every single thing and just returns the original. That's actually pretty stinking easy to do. What we'd want to do is say, um, grab the ID or something. Not ID is the wrong word for this. What we'd want to grab is the... Uh, I don't, I, it's kind of late. Um, what, what would I want to even call something like this? Prefix is, is even the wrong word for it. This is a stateful op operation that we're not 100% sure about. I mean, I guess there's no specific reason not to come back and say, here's here's the type. It's like a split or something. I, I blarg, I blarg, whatever. Um, but I, I don't have a use for this. What what I really want is to extract this thing out. Which I guess maybe split is the right way to, to do that. To say, okay. Um, It's a little bit weird that this is returning an array, but like maybe that's actually just fine. Yeah, you're splitting you're splitting the line based on that array.
Same thing. I'm, yeah. Uh, there'll be multiple iterations of me cleaning this up and making this better. That's the nice thing about open source coding. I also am almost certainly going to want graph utilities. And graph, I guess, is the wrong word. But I'm using it. Cool. So I can start to split out some of this stuff. Maybe I'll clean that up more in the future. Uh, definitely one of the utilities for graph would be something like set ID. Reindex. Something something to that extent where you're passing in a graph and then you're passing in you're changing a node ID. Well no, at that point like just merge is is the command for that, right? Because you're just passing in a new node and you can pass in a node with like just the ID or something like that. That's fine. In fact that's exactly what I want. So, when you are merging two nodes together, what does that look like? This looks like, if not index ID, index ID equals new tells.nodes.build. Except I want the ID to be set correctly. Okay. That's the only thing that needs to happen there. Don't relink nodes that are already linked. This could probably be extracted out in some way too, but I'm um, not going to worry too, too much about it. Yeah, actually, probably, because I'll just have like a graph.link or something that takes two nodes or something like that. Um, But what I really want up here is the ability to create something so like where I'm doing this whole concat thing I want to be able to say
Maybe you pass in two graphs? No, like I just want, yeah, let's just do add. And add can handle merging if, if it needs be. As a matter of fact, let's get super fancy. And use like some new node utils. So merge should be something. Merge should absolutely be something that um, you can do like node, node. And that'll handle things like that'll handle things like concatenating the links together. But like, so how do you deal with that for updating the links when the links change is one thing. Merging would not actually do that. So it would have to be something like re-index, and that would take a node and an ID. Like, basically, you're going to be going through this whole process, and I like I have to think what's the the best way to to do this which is I think the right answer is like you don't you you make low level things so this should be like an add thing Boom. Otherwise, we are saying graph node.id equals node. And then just return node. Is that enough? Um, updating the links is still something that I have to do separately. It's kind of like what's what's the advantage of doing all this stuff? I guess, but yeah, let's let's pull some stuff out. So I can do a couple of nice safety checks in here. Yes, that's a small advantage. Anything else I want to do with merging? 
What about a pending text? I am okay with doing that. What about the ID? Should I check to see if the ID does not exist? Because you shouldn't be able, like, merge should do some nice error checking for you to basically say, like, look, you can't just randomly merge two things that have a separate ID. I would really like to not care about the ID at all. This is one of the reasons why I didn't want to have an ID at all, period. And in fact, like I'm looking at this now and I'm like, is merge even all that useful here? Like the really, I want to encapsulate this stuff. I want to have something that's like, okay, update the ID of a node. Like that's something that I can see people wanting to do to say, here's, here's a graph, here's a node, here's the new ID. Like, forget about this. What I really want is just like set ID. That's a bad name, but um, I'm just going to roll with it because like this is absolutely what I want this to be doing. And I'll, I'll fix names or whatever later. That's easy to do. In the same way that I've got a set ID, I also want like just a link function that'll take a graph node node so this is not a great like api at this point but this is still basically internal like i'm not really exposing this um and maybe i'll clean it up more in the future No, I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. I don't need to d split the text or whatever. In fact, where am I even doing anything with the text in here? Am I? Inside the ID? Am I setting the text at all? No, I'm just returning it. Cool. Yeah, so I'm updating the link and then I'm returning the text. Okay. In which case, let's forget about link for a second and let's instead do set ID. Um, when ID will be passed in because it always is. So like I can basically just pull a whole bunch of this out. I should be using index instead of graph, whatever. Graph is the wrong word for this. I will need to deal with it later. Graph is definitely the wrong word for this. I'm just going to like change this one instance to index, and maybe I'll do more cleanup tomorrow. No, dot links, dot for each link. Update the links when the ID changes.
We can also do a check in here since we have node utils. Now we totally can change the ID of a node that's already created. I just think it's problematic. And just to like get some progress and, and to to get the library into a more usable state. Um, right now I'm gonna block it. And I'll go back and clean up this stuff later, um, as is always the case. If it already has text, um, that should be fine, actually. It's specifically if it's system generated that I want to block stuff. Now we do have merge, and I do have no utils, so maybe at this point I also say Why am I, okay, let me walk through this one more time. So I already have a node. I just want to update its ID. Why am I concatenating, concatenating the links together? Because if the node has already existed and I'm defining it later, then I need to merge it. Which means that that comment does actually make sense. that if it has text, then I should think about doing something with it. Um, And in fact, it is this error. That I want everywhere. Cool. Otherwise, we are going to say node utils dot merge index ID and node. Cool. Because there is likely to be
some stuff here. I'm still not 100% sure about this stuff with like the text and everything. I'm going to I'm going to gray this out and basically say like, "Hey, this should probably be what's happening, but until I know for certain what I'm going to do with IDs, then temporarily ignore that." So then we iterate over each link. We set the links. We delete it. We do all that stuff. That'll still continue working fine. Um, so down here, what we are actually doing is we are saying let id text Tells. In fact, eh, I'll just leave it in there um, because I probably want like this stuff to be something where you, I can expand more stuff. Um, this does not rely on any of the other stuff above it. I don't think. I have references to lines. I have the index to the node.id. I'm not referring to the comment at any point. So this is stuff that can be separated out and, and greatly expanded. Um, so I'll, I'll leave myself with that opportunity. In any case, utils.graph.setID. And yeah, I'm just going to pass in the index and the ID. And I do have a reference to the node, right? Yeah, I do. And I'm going to pass in the ID. So that's a little bit cleaner, I guess. Appended text ought to get separated into new nodes. Wow, if only we had an add method, which we do. Um, it still bothers me how little repetition there is here. Like, I kind of want to... There's, there's some better stuff that can happen here, but this is stepping in the right direction. Um, now, there's two entirely separate ways of doing this. Let's first let's first give you the ability to link. Which should just be pretty much everything in here. Same as before, I want to be using index, not graph. Graph is the wrong word for this. Um, we're going to link A and B together. Uh, it Order does not matter at all. So we're just going to say a.id. Data ID, and we do have no utils. What was I doing back here? Yeah, okay, I thought so. So, if necessary, then we create a new node, which should actually just be This is also calling this whole merge thing. I'm going to leave off of calling that for a second.
which means that this whole if you link to a node that doesn't exist yet is created for you that should actually be pulled out that should actually go here Since order doesn't matter. And now we are calling utils dot graph dot link index index ID and what the heck am I doing? It yeah, it's a node. So we link these two things together. Cool. Uh, but we do actually want to do this as well. So if there is a text, then we actually need to create another util. Let's get rid of this and stick it in a to-do. For right now, though, I'm just going to throw an error. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So this creates a new node. What's, what's the pattern that I want for this? I'm creating a blank node with the text and I'm linking all three of them together.
what am I passing an index ID? Basically, I'm creating, oh, I'm creating the, yeah. Which I should rename better so that this is easier to follow. But, uh, whatever. Yeah, I'll come back and fix that soon enough. So, this should not break. I fully expect it will. Okay, yeah, things are blowing up. Nice and easy, but um What are you mad about? What are you mad about? Var utilities equal what are you mad about? Whoa! Also did not expect that to pass. All right, cool. Um, I am going to call it a night. That is pretty much all abstracted out. The only other thing I can think of doing really quickly is maybe I want to get code blocks working before I head. I don't think that'll take long to do. It's only it's only a very small block of code right right here. Let's let's see what's happened inside the code blocks. That might be very quick to debug actually. So, right now, nothing at all gets created for the code block. And let's check to see what actually happens here. Is it as simple as it's not getting called? No, it's not. All right. Never actually gets called. All right, so if type equals equals code. Um, so I suspect that what that means is that this type is not getting set correctly. Let's take another look at comments. Yeah, that's never getting hit. Um, hmm. Then what is it?
I mean, we can just list stuff out. So we'll get a whole bunch of these, and that's fine. Cool. The only thing it's catching is stars. It is not catching anything else. So let's jump back to the test and make sure that I'm actually doing this. I am. Oh, to get to the end of the block, what happens if I do this? Because I don't want to have to do that. I want to be able to have these as nulls. Still does not get caught at all. I'm also not actually passing in the two string because I'm an idiot. Cool. Uh, whoa. What's going on here? Cool. Huh. So none of those are calculated as types. Probably because I drop null ones beforehand. Was that it? Am I doing some kind of filtering here? I might be doing some kind of filtering here. Oh, oh, quite literally, I just have a line here that's like, don't do anything, and it's like, uh, That's a really awkward way of phrasing that. But it certainly explains why everything else was gone. All right, so that did not fix the problem. This is going to get messy real fast. All right, cool. These two did pop up, though, so they should have gone through and gotten parsed. So what exactly was the problem again? Comments.text.length should show both of them. Cool. Then what exactly is the problem here? Do I need to have a space in here? Like, I don't think I do. Oh, I do. Well, I want to fix that. That's a bug as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, that's a bug as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah. So we are searching for this. If it returns negative one, we return null. And why do we do that? Because why, why do we do that? We can already filter out the type. We can basically say if index 
comment dot text dot length return null. In fact, even that is kind of like, that's not really what we want. We want to look at the first. Like, we don't want to even have this kind of filtering because we already handle that. If it's not something that we recognize and it won't be something that we recognize, absolutely, um, then ignore it. Index equals negative 1 then do the entire block. I'm not sure what will actually happen if I parse that in. And I'm pretty sure that I can just like append a G to the end of this or something. Yeah. So let's try this again. It caught them, but it only caught one of them. It didn't catch that both of them existed. Uh because index is not inclusive. I always forget about that. Boom, I just blew up the entire world. What on earth did I do? It caught the stars. Caught the space, caught the end of the string. Guess this is the wrong way to do it, like, because Z is inclusive, so it'll match the last character of the string and cut off before that, which is not what I want, actually. Um, so I do actually have to do this in the stupid slow way. And now we can run test again. And cool, now we actually, now this is creating it. It's not appending the text correctly, but it's creating it. So let's see what it's doing for the source string. Huh, and it created two of them. Oh, yeah, it created two of them. It's not setting the uh, open block. That's not going to do 
anything about it. Why is open block getting broken? Because we are doing this for each comment. Dum 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 dum. There we go. Now we've got a more stateful type of thing. Cannot read property location of null. That is some serious progress. Okay. Previous.location, which in this case is not being set, and it needs to be set. It needs to be set. Cool. All right, so just a little bit of debugging and close. It got truncated. Got truncated. Uh, that's not really what I wanted. Um. So that's the thing that happened, is it gets immediately split onto a new line. That's not what I wanted. Why does the line start with a new line? Why does line start with a new line? Oh my goodness. Um, I also know that like previous dot location and comment dot location is not good enough. I need to do like comment dot location minus comment dot length and that I think will put me in the right place because I need to start at the the start of the comment but even that is not gonna be enough. Even that is going to, so I need to actually have more than just the location of this. I need to know where the comment begins. This line is not getting split the way that I think it should. Uh, yeah, but I'm going to deal with this tomorrow. This has already gone long, long enough. Um, lots of progress today. Um, we'll get more stuff done tomorrow and that'll all be great.